We welcome you to the Ghana Ashram. It is time for evolution. So in today's video, uh, we're going to be speaking about when to copy. You know, the, usually in the alchemy, there's a negative connotation when it comes to uh, copying, quote unquote, co copying other artists. But you know, copying can also be used to uh, study another artist, or it can also be used to you know understand certain things so that you can learn from um, the the other artists. That you're trying to learn from and so in this video I'm going to present to you two different ways you can use copying to to learn from you know other artists so that you can apply it and improve on your own style and, and improve on your own art and drawing abilities and so whenever I'm doing a tracing study it's usually to get an understanding as to how the art the artist created what they created and so one way to to use the tracing to your advantage is to deconstruct the the figure into shapes and so let's say you have a dynamic pose or you just want to understand how that artist drew that dynamic pose uh there's there's a part of you know understanding the fundamentals first and then as you understand the fundamentals you're deconstructing the the shape so this is a way of way of copying and studying what that artist has done you know and you can also study by also just copying directly you know for example if the artist makes a face a certain way or if an artist makes a uh, a hand a certain way you know you want to understand that how the, how did they draw that hand that angle you know tracing is a great way to you know deconstruct how that artist had drew that hand you know and to make sure that you've memorized or you've got it you've got it down after you've done your tracing, then you can apply it into, you no, know, just drawing, uh, your own artwork with that with that knowledge in hand. And so, some of the artists I was studying in, a, in the past would be uh, Kim Jong Ji, uh, White Manga, uh, and a couple of artists that I found on Divan Art, or like some of the artwork that I that I like on that I collect. You know, just surfing around the internet, I might find artwork that that looks inspiring like for example they may do a certain pose or the artwork may have a certain composition that that's inspiring or the artwork may be something that, that I want to learn from in terms of like perspective I'll probably save it and download it into one of my study folders so I could study them later and so let's take white manga for example when I was start starting out I was studying uh, his way of uh, making artwork and I, what I like about his artwork is that uh, his style it's it's close to realism but it's it's like it's not all the way realism but it's close to realism but it's not all the way realism you know and so that's what i liked about you know studying you know his artwork you know so as as i was studying his artwork i was studying how people make dynamic poses i was studying certain uh, poses that the artist would make i would study certain uh, facial structures you know where the nose would go etc you know while I was tracing the artwork so I could just understand how uh, understand how certain things are laid out and so as I was studying it you know back then you know I started applying it into you know my own artwork you know studying different angles you know One Punch Man is also a good uh, manga to study from when it comes to dynamic angles and some and like uh, closer to realism in a sense so and One Punch Man it was uh, something like a. I remember I did a video on, on uh, triangle perspective. Yeah, yeah, it was triangle perspective because I wanted to also understand how, how, uh, how uh, the 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 artist created that cover of the dynamic perspective, right? And so you can see like how in one, on One Punch Man there's a there's a triangle perspective going on. If you don't know what triangle pers perspective is, you can watch my YouTube uh, video on it. I have a tutorial on it. So the triangle perspective, I was I, I was seeing the triangle perspective on the cover, right? And so I started applying the triangle perspective onto my own artwork, you know, as I was studying the triangle perspective there. Now, it's more so of a, like a perspective study that I, that I was doing with that. It wasn't more so of a, you know, how to draw a arm from that angle or anything like that. It was more so like a perspective study. But you can also 
you know, if you wanted to, you could also trace to draw how a arm is, just so that you understand that position. And so, honestly, the more tracing that you do, and also not only tracing, the more you know self-study that you do after you've done your tracing, the more, and by self-study, I mean uh, applying knowledge and not tracing it. You know, because you want to apply the knowledge of what you've learned from your tracing studies onto something else so that you have it ingrained on your mind ingrained in your mind and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video feel free to like comment subscribe and peace